Hey, what's going on guys and girls? I'll call it Phoenix here and welcome to episode number 20 of my Generation Zero Pissed Lonely Let's Play series. We've got to talk to Anita. I'm sorry for blacking out like that. It's just, um... Okay, um, uh, one thing at a time. We should make this place safer. Barricade all windows, reinforce the doors. They won't hold forever, but the hotel will be easier to defend with fewer choke points to cover. What do we need? Planks and shit? Uh, how about skis? That's one thing you don't need to ration around here. Alright, sorry, I had to sneeze. Alright, we're gonna get some skis. I think there's... There's a little shop over here you grab them from. And you can also hear those apocalypse tanks. There's two of them real close. Which could cause us quite a few issues. Oh. No! No, no, no. Why? Give me all your skis. What? Oh, thought there was one in here. More skis. There's a ski right there. Why can't I grab that? What? Where? Oh. Ah, oh, he's shooting me. Mm. He's shooting me through. Through the hedge. That is just rude. Can't even see him and he's still able to shoot me. I know they're machines that are like specially designed for this, but god damn it. That is annoying. Come here. I want to get closer to him. Get up in his face. You know thing your brain does in tragic situations, like after your mother dies? All you can think of is stuff. Where'd his body go? Okay. For me, that would be the day I graduated flight school. I wasn't the first female pilot, but made it second anyway. My parents and my brother were so proud. All I could think of was, cool, so which tattoo should I get now? Smash all these onto the windows, boom. Get it all beautifully boarded up to protect the hotel. Tour 72, London. Best gig we ever did. The crowd was doing most of the singing for me. My brother, Lassa, and I weren't fighting as much back then. Yes, let's all reminisce over the radio while I'm out here doing everything. That's fine. Raise barricades around the hotel. You know what I miss the most? Driving. Just driving around in my good old Red Ville 445. Red Ville. And, uh, taking care of my mom and dad. My red Villeneuve 45. I mean, you, I guess you could technically still drive. The only thing is you'd be shot at by a million machines pretty quickly. Well, we've seen, like, we had the truck that drove. I'm sure you could find a way to make it drive. It's just... Wouldn't be a very good idea. If you didn't want to attract attention to yourself. Uh, final touches. Boom. Gun. And... We're as ready as can be. And once they're here, the rest of us will have to stay here and guard the door to the wine cellar. Ghosts of the Pass. Mission completed. Oh, so this... Is this actually a side mission? It is. Wait, no it's not. Why has it got the side mission icon? What? Uh, let's talk to Anita. I could say thank you so much and all that, but it would be too soon. So let's just say I'm not against living in a luxury hotel anymore. <laughs> this place does grow on you. My dad hated that I was enjoying myself here instead of paying him a visit. Get all the landmines, because there's a few of them around here. If you're going to do this mission, it's always good to grab all the landmines. And there's a bunch of grenades back here you can take as well. We'll take advantage of those lying around. Three more here, and I 
think that's it. And then there's some up top as well that you can use. Uh, so, what slots do we have open? Six, seven, eight. Let's set up for the landmines. Let's put those on six. Grenades on seven. Let's grab them. It'll just be a bunch of hunters and runners. It's only, I think we only got to deal with the one tank right towards the end. Like in the final stint, so it's not too bad. A few more landmines. I don't know whether they replenish it after every round. can't remember. Throw a few down and around. Just to have a little bit of help. And then we'll put, you know, a few around here and a couple over here as well. Sorry, my daughter was telling me she was putting our cat inside the bedroom. She's like, Daddy, can I put two beans in here? His name's Toby, but we call him two beans. Oof. I mean, I didn't really want them to destroy all the landmines straight off the bat, honestly. I think that was going a bit far. Ready? This. Okay, easy. Okay. I kind of wanted the, the landmines to be there for the hunters rather than all the runners destroying it. Now let's see if we can get a snipe or two on them. Hit them a couple of times. Oh, we do have a hunter. Okay, ready? Get up in his drill. Problem. Stop shooting the motel. The hotel. Hotel, motel. Motel, hotel. Stop shooting it. Leave it alone. Okay, cool. Little ticks, man. You're like the smallest amount of damage in the world. They still do damage it. We wouldn't want to leave them alive. Let's just put it that way. Uh, do they give me more landmines replenish? Nope. They do not. That's a disappointment. What do we got? Two left or something. Not even. Okay. Should probably have that door shut. Shouldn't leave it open. Otherwise, they can just run in and out. Oh. I set myself on fire. It's okay. No problem. Just a little bit of burnies. It's all good. It's all good. Alright. Got them over here now. Just some runners, I think, is all this is. is the first wave, so we can clean these guys up pretty easily. There we go. No problem. Very, very easily. That went smooth. It's probably as smooth as it could be. Destroy all enemy waves. The enemies are going. Ah, here we go. Alright. Alright. 
be honest, it's going pretty well. There we go. Beautiful. I think that went better than my original playthrough, honestly. Get near the hotel. You can't obviously go too far, otherwise, it does start to say, Get back to the hotel and defend it. And where he's coming from now, same spot, sweet. Mom. Oops. All right, that could have gone better, for sure, no denying that, but it didn't die, and the hotel basically took no damage, so we'll call that a win. <laughs> it could have, could have definitely gone better, though. What have we got here? What were the markers? Oh, I guess it's just pointing to me to where I've got to be or something. You, do you things actually do anything, though? I don't know whether they actually do anything. I think they're guns, right? Or are they trackers to, like, tell me where the enemies are coming from or something? I don't know. Right, what do we got? A couple hunters. Get rid of that gun straight up, because that's going to cause us a lot of issues. Okay, he's just going to run away. That's fine for me. Hunter couldn't have ran into the landmine. Had to be the runners. Where are they? I think they're doing very small amounts of tick damage. My god. What are you going to do about it, huh? Nothing. You're going to die. Like the idiot you are. Alright. Let's see if we can get our shots this time. Okay, that's better. rid of that gun. It's going pretty damn smoothly, honestly. It's going about as good as I could hope for. Oh, here comes Tank Man. Hello, big boy. How you doing? And that's when we do this, and 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 this. Just clear them all up with nades. Try and get rid of these guys now. Oh. 
Now it's time to just straight up attack this guy. Yep, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, I'm stuck on him. Ow. Good. Should be alright. Hotel defended. I think uh, that was the last of them for now. Wow! You rock! I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but I'm relieved we made it. You're relieved? Did you not believe in me? Could you have not helped though? Just saying. It's only a matter of time until they come back though. We could have used you in the army, you know. We need to find more survivors. There's gotta be more out there. Maybe we do stand a chance after all. How was your group called, Elsa? The Resistance? I like the sound of that. I like the sound of that. I like the sound of the Resistance. Alright, I guess that's it for the main missions here. So now we've got all these ones to do. Uh, let's see, what's the closest ones? The secluded. Right, let's do the secluded. And then let's go up here. To the emergency shelter, because it's pretty close to it. We'll head over there and get that one done. Sorry if I seem also a little bit distracted. We've actually got a party. Uh, my mother-in-law happening tonight. So I'm like trying to bang this video out before people show up. So... I'm a little bit, I'm, I'm pushing it, to be honest. Like, I just, I just am pushing it. I don't like how it just changes missions pretty much whenever it feels like changing missions. Like, if it wasn't for the fact that ease to open the doors and stuff wouldn't be a problem. If tracking and opening the doors wasn't the exact same goddamn button. I've got to go up the mountain. Where are we? We can kind of go around it, it looks like, but we'll just go up above, over it. We'll go up and over it, it'll probably be easier that way. I think. But, thank you guys and girls as always for joining me for another episode, and I hope you guys and girls have been enjoying the series thus far. We're making pretty good progress. I've no idea where we're going to go from here in terms of Generation Zero, to be honest in that. Like, I don't have any ideas for things that I want to do. I know there was a challenge put in the comments section uh, a few weeks ago for an idea for a challenge, which may or may not happen. I haven't decided whether it's something I'd want to do. It's one thing to do the challenges right. I don't have an issue that I can pull off most of them. My issue is, are they going to be entertaining and are people going to want to watch those challenges? Just saying, I'm the greatest in the world at a magnum snipe. Ah, oh, so you do come here to fight things, but it's because... Okay, well, we've already been here. So the hunters are here because of the side mission. So I wasn't incorrect. I do remember fighting hunters at this place. Oh, these guys are rude. Really? 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 Oh my god, calm down. Anyone want to die here? Just, just asking. Oh. get rid of one person's gun, but I don't get rid of the other. 
Can't win, man. Holy crap, leave me alone. Oh, why? <laughs> okay, gun's gotta go. Gun's gotta go. At least the at least the flamethrower's gotta go. Done with that for a moment. There's some ticks inside. But that's okay. Was it on fire last time? Book containing psalms and rituals. Well, there's your problem. You got your legs stuck in the floor. It's any wonder you haven't gone anywhere. You're stuck here. They're embedded in the floor. <laughs> That's your problem, isn't it, mate? Terrible tragedy to happen, honestly. Get your legs stuck in the floor. That's not the ideal way to go. What have I got? 326 AP. Uh, let's see. What do we got? Go to the lighthouse. That's light in the dark. It's a bit of a run. It's a good safe house to get though. It's a very good safe house to have, honestly. All right, now we're gonna do is run our way over there. Shouldn't be too hard. There is some enemies that will spawn in the building down. Just to our left down here, over there, but apart from that, we should be pretty well right. Um, actually, they're not to the left, they're basically straight in front of me, there's a building. What am I talking about? That's the stairs down to it. You're down here. You can have some enemies spawn, as you can see. You got Hunter, and a couple runners. Whoa. Okay, a couple hunters, sorry. Got that wrong. Can you guys stop shooting me, please? Okay, three hunters. Again, I stand corrected once again. Oh my god, why did I do this to myself? Why didn't I just avoid this fight? Holy crap. Okay. I easily hate the flamethrower the most. Just because you you don't you can't see exactly where they are. Okay, there was four of them. It just gets better, doesn't it? Then you got these little jerk offs, and then you got the runner. Grill your friend. Grill him. With a barbecue. He'll be fine. Oh my god. The <laughs> flamethrower can suck it. Stop it. Stop it. You stop that now. It's very annoying. 
Okay. What a, just, a, just an adventure, you know? You think, oh, I'll just stop at this one building, and then you end up getting turned to a crisp. Alright. Sorry, my partner was talking to me, so I ran a little bit of the way without recording. You didn't miss anything, honestly. Uh, no, that's not a safe house there. I can hear a tank. Is that worth fighting? The only drops we're really going to get off of them potentially are meds, which we'll probably spend to kill him. I mean, we do get some experience, though, which we could need to get some skills. Ah! Oh, I know where we are. This is where I was fighting uh, in, my, in my regular playthrough, fighting with melee weapons with the bat. And I didn't even know that was there, so now I knew that there was a sniper rifle and stuff there that you could loot. I can't remember what it is. Is it a four crown? No, it's two crown. It's a, it's a very, very average sniper rifle. But, you know, it does turn into some some stuff if you scrap it, so it's always nice. What the fuck? You want some soccer balls, everybody? Anybody want some soccer balls? There's so many of them. Why is there so many soccer balls? I don't understand. It's like just a random cabin. It's not. It's not a soccer field. Well, five crown shotgun silencer. Fair enough. It's not like a soccer field, is it? Really? No. Why? Why is there so many soccer balls? I don't get it. Um, so if you go down there, there'll be usually a tank, and a harvester, and some runners and hunters all down there. So there's plenty of stuff to fight. So a good thing is, you know, every once in a while you come over here and that to, to farm them from the lighthouse and just run down the hill and down there and you'll have plenty of things to shoot at down there. It was pretty good to, to use to farm some of the new US weapons. And I was trying to get some of the five crowns for those. Still haven't got a G79 grenade launcher. I know someone offered it to me in the comments on one of my, on my main playthrough videos. Probably two a week and a half week and a half ago, which I appreciate, but I really do prefer to try and get everything myself, as much as, like, I, I don't care for the grind sometimes, I do prefer, if I'm gonna do it, I'd rather just get it myself. But I also understand people not wanting to spend four hours of their time trying to get one five crown gun. So, I get that as well. And eventually, like, put it this way, maybe in a couple months have I been playing that main playthrough thing quite a few times and I still haven't been able to get it, maybe I'll just go and get one from somebody trade-wise or something. What are you going to do, really? Crap. Well, we took most of those out with relative ease. We got some ticks in here. Well, oh. I'm on normal ticks. They don't go give me radioactive poisoning just for touching me. They're not a problem. All right, let's see. Find a way inside the lighthouse. So I had to go in the house anyway. Well, we are getting a few rivals starting to build up this episode as well, which is good. How many have we got in the region now? A couple? That's good. Level them up over time. Like, Himshval is probably one of the easier places to try and get a Reaper, just because you go around and kill the bigger enemies over and over again, and you can, you can get a Reaper to spawn fairly easily. So it's going to be interesting trying to fight a Reaper with... You know, a pistol. If I can get the Klausch experimental, I'll be in a way better spot. And handgun, um, shock ammo. Which is what I'm going to have to try and do. I'm going to try and get some handgun shock ammo, which means we're going to have to start doing some base defenses. Yeah, we're going to have to start doing some base defense missions to, to try and get that stuff unlocked. So we can hope, and, and like, what would be awesome is, of course, if we do the base defense missions and one of the first drops is I get some, some shock, shock ammo for the handgun would be amazing. Because I don't really want to do it all the time, grind it enough to get 
a fair amount of shock ammo to eat to be able to fight the Reaper and then call it good. I'm not even really a big fan of farming base defenses flat out in, in regular mode rather than running and doing base defense over and over with a pistol. Doesn't, isn't too enticing to me. Seems very annoying, actually. There's a recycling bench in here. I don't think I ever paid attention to that. It's upstairs. Oh, no, I do. Yeah, because the safe house is up here. No. No, it's not. The safe house is the lighthouse. Yeah, I just never come back up in here. I don't ever see the need for it, to be honest. Four crown, three crown, three crown, two crown, two crown, two crown, two crown. Cool. We've got a decent amount of titanium. Not too bad on the copper. Electrolyte's still terrible. Um, we'll get that from some, like, some field radios and stuff, which, to be honest, we can scrap some of those. That'll give us some electrolyte along with the big car batteries and stuff, the car battery EMPs. But with that said, guys and girls, I think that is going to be the end of this episode. So, if you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more Generation Zero in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you'll have a lovely day. All right, peace.